Hi everyone, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to my channel TechNex Solutions. Today we will be installing Snipe IT on Windows Server 2016 with IIS, PHP, and MySQL. I have configured Snipe IT successfully on Ubuntu 18.04.1 and Windows Server 2016. Snipe IT has a lot of potential in terms of asset management. It is a FOSS project, free open source based on Laravel 5.4. Official website is snipeit.com and you can visit that website and other great thing is demo can be checked on the website so once you go to website and you click on demo and uh, then you click on launch demo it will open a new window check in the um, username and password given there and you can actually explore what snipeit asset management has to offer so as I said earlier this is a completely free software and snipeit doing really well in terms of keeping this product up to date. So we have decided to use this product in production as well. I'm still running and testing in a virtual machine at the moment. All right, so enough talking. Let's have a look at what we will be doing in this video and then we will get our hands dirty with real stuff. So we will start with Windows Server 2016 installation on a virtual machine. So you can install on a VM or you can install on a physical server. I will be doing it on Hyper-V and you can use um, um, maybe Oracle or you can use VMware as well and after that once we have Windows Server 2016 installed we just uh, do, we just rename it and we check the internet connectivity or network connectivity and after that we will install IIS Server plus CGI and we will install a few other software like Notepad++ just to editing some files and we will install PHP we will do its configuration and after that we will download C++ Visual Studio Redistributable 2015 and 2012 and we will install that and uh, after that we will install URL rewrite module and then PHP manager and then we will do PHP configuration of course after we configure PHP we would like to test our PHP and for testing purposes we will use our browser and then we will test our PHP configuration and then after that we will install MySQL we will create a user and uh, we will have a look into that as well and then we will download Snipe IT and uh, one of the files in that will be .env file we will edit that file and after that we will install dependencies with the help of composer and then we will create a um, app key so which is required and that app key will be populated in .env file so once we do that we are very close and then uh, we will create a new website we will uh, con uh, we will fix some permissions and after doing that finally we will browse to our snipe it pre-flight and setup page okay so open hyper v manager on your computer after that we will create two two new virtual switches on that one would be internal virtual switch and the second one for internet connectivity i will create external virtual switch so i will be using internal virtual switch to browse over um, snipe it pre-flight and setup page but uh, external virtual switch just for internet connectivity so internet connectivity is important for this installation because with the help of composer when we will download dependencies so it needs internet connectivity for that so this is why i'm using external virtual switch okay now in hyper v manager i will click on virtual switch manager and i will uh, create new virtual switch and that virtual switch is going to be external virtual switch and i'm using my wi-fi card for that and i will name it external 01 sorry I will name it external 02 because I have already external 01 okay once I do that I will apply it's saying that pending changes may disrupt network connectivity that's fine I will click on yes and then click OK and then I will create new virtual switch and then I will click on virtual switch manager I will create internal virtual switch this time and then I'll name it internal 02 because 01 is already there and internal apply it's there now and I click on OK alright and now I will open my control panel or you can use um, command named ncpa.cpl with Windows R ncpa.cpl 
and click OK. So it will open network connections and I will find external O2. Sorry, I will find internal O2 and double click on that and then click on properties. I'm going to change the IP address. Okay, so I will be using 192.168.60.1 and you can use any other IP address okay which is available at the moment in my case 60.1 is there and this is the subnet and uh, subnet mask I'm using 255.255.255.0 okay and close so my virtual switches are ready and now I will create a new virtual machine for that you need Windows Server 2016 ISO file you can download it from Microsoft Download Center and this is the evaluation version I'm using at the moment so I'll click on uh, new virtual machine and then click next and I'm going to name it AMS asset management system 03 and I will save it um, at this location or you can save it at default location click next I'm gonna make it generation 2 memory just for this purposes I will give it a high uh, memory so that it will be faster I will give it around 6 gig so 6 gig is uh, 6 1 double four and I don't want to use dynamic at the moment I will use full memory and click next and uh, I will connect with external O2 for now and next and I'm happy with the location with the size I will give it 40 GB next install operating system I'm going to browse it to my uh, ISO file which is Windows Server 2016 data center you can use standard as well that's fine and then click next finish so it will create a new virtual machine for me so I will start this virtual machine before I start it I will right click and go to settings and I will add another hardware that's network adapter and I will be connecting now internal O2 okay before I selected external O2, this time internal O2, apply and OK. So this time my this virtual machine has two network adapters. So I will double click on that. It will open a new window and I will start. I will hit any key on the keyboard so that it can boot to our ISO file. OK so I will hit enter so time and currency I will select English Australia you can select yours click next install now 2016 data center evaluation desktop experience okay you can pick standard as well but I'm going with data center next I will accept the terms hit next custom install um, this is a uh, drive where we're going to install Windows and click next. So I will be back once this is done. Uh, this is on my SSD. It should be pretty quick. should take about three minutes to install or four minutes. I will be back once this is done. okay so this is done now it's prompting me to enter a password for my administrator account so I will enter a password and then click finish so it's finalizing all the settings and it will log in as administrator So now we are logging in in the machine and we will test our connectivity and uh, test uh, connectivity the way we are testing it first of all we will change uh, the IP address of um, the network adapter which is connected with internal virtual switch. So the screen is small so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign out and after signing out it's prompting prompting me to 
uh, pick the size so I will pick uh, 1920 by 1080 okay server manager loading I'm gonna minimize this and uh, again Windows R ncpa.cpl and hit enter Ethernet 2 at the moment has a uh, internet connectivity which says network and if I double click on that and check details it is getting IP address from my home router and I'm going to close this and if you double click on Ethernet the one which has unidentified network I will click on properties then IPv4 double click on that I'm going to change its IP to 192.168.60.2 um, keeping the default subnet mask and um, default gateway I'm just entering 60.10 I do not have any default gateway or DNS I'm just entering these details and I'm going to OK on this OK OK if you double click now and click on details you see it is getting IP 60.2 255 255 255 and default gateway um, I'm gonna actually I think I incorrect the default gateway is not correct uh, let me fix it to 192 okay so this is fixed so now I should be able to ping Windows R CMD and I will ping 192.168.60.1 as you can see now I can ping my internal virtual switch so I have just tested my connectivity which is fine and now I will go ahead and um, rename the server okay in the local server if you click in server manager if it is open if it's not click on Windows logo and you can click on server manager it will open server manager okay and in computer name here in local server I will click on that and I will change it to AMS03 okay and it will need a restart so we'll give it a reboot and the change will take effect close it's prompting me to restart it I will restart it now I will click on that so while the server is restarting and um, we will now we will discuss about what are the um, downloadable files we need so we need a quite a bit of files so what I would do is I will suggest you to download the files in advanced and you can put in one folder and then this folder then we'll copy over to our server I have already downloaded the file but I will have all the links from where you can go and download all the files and first of all uh, I would recommend you to download notepad++ because with the help of this file we are going to edit one of the .env file as I said earlier and uh, this is the link and this link is available in the description so at the moment 7.5.8 is available you can download that or even if there's any other version which is latest you can download that version okay so you can click on download it will download the file for you and after that uh, I would recommend you to download PHP so in this uh, test environment I'm using PHP 7.0.31 okay if you follow that link um, which is given in the description and uh, click on that link and you have to scroll down and you can find 7.0.31 but if you would like to try latest version you can and please leave in the comments if that works as well okay after that uh, PHP manager and PHP manager is something to manage PHP in IIS and it makes um, easy to manage all the available extensions in PHP and other settings so a link in the description and you can go to that link and download this extension as well so after that Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2015 and link in the description download this and um, you can download 64-bit because Windows Server is 64-bit and then Visual Studio um, redistributable for Visual Studio 2012 update 4 okay you can download that as well once you downloaded this and the next one is Microsoft URL rewrite module 2.0 link in the description download this as well once you have this file ready and the next one is we have to download the database files and uh, I would recommend if you can download a 10.0 series 
and which is 10.0.36 link in the description if you go to this uh, uh, link and then you have to scroll down where 10.0 is available you can click on download and it will download a zip file you have to extract all the files okay and extract in a folder and then snipe it if you go to snipeitapp.com and then click on download it will take you to this page and then at the moment version 4.6.3 is available so i'm downloading the latest version click on that it will take to take you to a new page here you can download the source code which is a zip file as well so once the zip file is there you can extract all the files into a separate folder so after that the last one is composer if you go to um, if you go to snipeit.com and then click on documentation it will take you to this documentation page and then you have to click on installation and then further install dependencies once you click on install dependencies we have a link available for windows download composer setup.exe it will download um, setup.exe file which you can copy and put in that folder which you want to put all the files in okay i'll show you my folder and i have this uh, snipe it folder and um, it has all the required files that i need i don't need this one but it's still there that's fine so i'm using php 7.0.31 so again once you download all the files put in a folder I put these files in this folder so now I can copy that folder and I can uh, take it to my server which is in virtual machine I will log into this and I will paste all these files here so all these files are available and um, whenever I need I'm gonna use all these files for my installation okay so all the files are copied over to the server to our Windows Server 2016 and uh, if you open server manager and in server manager you can see in the under local server computer name ms03 and ethernet you can check uh, we have here 60.2 available on ethernet and on ethernet 2 we have a uh, dhcp server enabled and we're getting ip address from the home router or any other router which is available on your side and uh, we are getting internet connectivity through ethernet 2 okay so once we do this and uh, click on a dashboard again and then click on add roles and features so we are going to add IAS server so click next installation type role based that's fine click next and uh, this is the server available AMS03 and then click next so in here we will click on web server IIS select that and um, click on add features and then click next next and uh, next in role services under application development we will select CGI okay under application development we will select CGI click next um, click on restart it is not going to restart but still I have just um, this habit of clicking that restart the destination server automatically if required and then click on install so it will um, install the required components for us and I will be back once this is done okay so installation is done now so we are going to close this and on the server manager dashboard you can see IAS server available okay so we can confirm that IAS is actually installed and functional if you click on local server before we go ahead and that's very important as well and um, on our internet explorer it is on enhanced mode I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna turn off the enhanced mode for all everyone on actually this server okay once we do that we will open uh, Internet Explorer and we will browse to HTTP forward slash forward slash localhost okay so this tells us IAS server is installed and it's function it's functional and also we can browse to 192.168.60.2 or your IP address of your server and you click and, uh, and when you hit enter and you go, will see this uh, default web page of uh, IAS Windows Server okay so this is done here and the next part is we will install notepad plus plus and if I click on the folder where I have all the required files and I should have um, notepad plus plus by looks like I have missed it but I can download it so when you click double click on XC file it will uh, prompt you to uh, select your language I'm going to select English and uh, click OK next agree 
and this is the path where it's going to install notepad plus plus i'm happy with that and i'm happy with the uh, uh, default um, check boxes here and click next and and i would like to create a shortcut on desktop if i need to use it and click install so it will install notepad plus plus and this is done i'm not going to run it now and click finish so next part is um we are going to in local disk c we are going to create a new folder i'm naming it php and in php open uh, windows e new file explorer and in new file explorer browse to your folder where you have all the required documents and in uh, here i'm going to copy everything from php 7.0 7.0.31 double click that and control a control c and here in php folder control v okay so i have copied over everything from that folder to local disk c and php after that i'm going to install c++ visual studio redistributable 2015 and 2012 so from your downloaded files uh, this is one of them i'm going to double click on that and agree so that's 2015 install and this is nearly done so that's done close it and also 2012 as well and 2012 i'm installing 64 bit double click i agree and install so these two are done so once these two are done and the third part is in this one we will install url rewrite okay so that's version 2 and double click on that so it will um, install and one thing i would like to mention here that it needs internet connectivity as well so this is uh, other reason why we are using external virtual switch for internet connectivity okay so once you see this screen and uh, click on install so it will install um, url rewrite 2.1 click on install so prerequisite check i accept and it will download and install it for us okay so this is done click on finish and click on exit so that part is done as well and the next part is we will install php manager so open your folder we have um, saved content and then we will install php manager for ias double click on that next and i will agree click next and um, close and this is installed as well so open your server manager go to IAS and right click on that and then go to internet information services manager okay uh, you can open it from here or you can go to tools and then you can select IAS manager here as well okay so I'm going to pin this to taskbar so because I will be coming back on here and um, so if you click on your server name and you will see php manager here and you will see url rewrite here as well okay so double click on php manager so here we are going to register new php version okay and um, click on register new php uh, click on these three dots and then we will browse to local disk c and our php folder where we have saved all the php files and we will select php-cgi and open and click on ok so our php version is saved and also it is uh, we have registered it as well all right so now we are going to enable some extensions and disable some extensions at the same time so click on under php extensions on enable or disable extensions we can see these are the extensions which are enabled at the moment so we are keeping php curl and we are not keeping gd2 we right click and disable and get text we don't need that as well so disable that mbs string yes we are keeping that and i think we are keeping gd2 as well uh, so we'll go back to gd2 right click and just click enable so this is how easy with php uh, manager to enable or disable extensions okay and mysqli yes we need that open ssl we are keeping this and soap that one we don't need that right click and disable and xml 
rpc we don't need that as well right click and disable that so at the moment we have one two three four five we need more uh, three more extensions so one is exif so here right click and enable that and another one is file info so we have to find php underscore file info which is here right click and enable so the last one that we need is pdo underscore mysql that's not the one this is the one right click and enable so make sure you have all these eight extensions enabled okay and we'll go back to our php manager or you can click on um, our uh, on your server name and double click on php manager again all right and now click on manage all settings here we are going to add so here we will add click on add and the name is going to be session s e s s i o n underscore e n t r o p y underscore length alright uh, value will be 35 okay and section PHP and click OK and if you search S E S S I O N underscore E N T R hit enter you can see here session underscore entropy underscore length 35 and section is PHP okay so the configuration of PHP basically is done and now we are going to test our PHP configuration okay so to do that open your browser um, and before that we will add a new file so go to this PC and then go to local disk C and inet pub and un in ww root right click and click new and uh, text file we will name it php info dot php hit enter double click and um, copy I'm going to copy and paste small text and it's available in the description as well so you don't have to remember or type this um, close this save this click on view file name extension and uh, we are going to actually get rid of dot text so this is php info dot php okay so make sure the extension is right all right so once we do that open we'll go back to our IS server under actions pane click on uh, the name of the server under actions just restart it and open Internet Explorer again go to local host it should load this and then type in PHP info dot PHP so here we can see if you hit enter you should see this page if you should if you see this page means your PHP configuration is working alright so once we finish with PHP the next step is we are going to install MySQL okay so open your folder we have saved all the files from here we will install MariaDB 10.0.36 okay double click on that and click next I will accept the terms next and I will keep everything default click next so root password so I'm picking P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D and P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D you can pick any password and a strong password and uh, enable root access from remote machines I'm, in, I'm going to enable this and um, yep, rest is fine and click next so install as service um, service name mysql I'm keeping everything default next and I'm not going gonna enable feedback plugin so I will click next and install okay so this is finished as well click on finish and um, now we are going to create a new database and a new user to do that we have to connect it to our mysql so to connect to mysql we have hs which is installed double click on that and uh, we will click on new uh, you can name it anything but I'm keeping it as it is and then root user password P A S S W O R D. and 
hit open so it is connected to our mysql database which we have just installed so now we are going to create a new database so in this pane um, where all the databases are listed right click and click on create new database and i'm going to name it snipe it so the collation that we have to pick i'm going to pick a specific collation and that is okay so utf8 mb4 underscore unicode underscore ci okay so this is the collection i have picked i'm clicking ok on that so it has created a new database named snipe it so now i'm going to create a new user to create a new user click on tools and uh, click on user manager and in user manager we will add a new user and we will name it snipe it as well and the password i'm giving it password p a -S -S w o r d p a -S -S w o r d and in under privileges we will add object and we will add snipe it click ok so in snipe it click on the top one so it has uh, full access to this database which is snipe it all right so click on save you should see snipe it is the username and it has access to database snipe it all right so close that you can i'm ca i can keep it here i'm going to pin it to taskbar and i'm going to close this so the next step is we are going to um, configure snipe it folder and to do that i'm going to close everything first and open file explorer go to this pc local disk c and then go to inet pub ww root in here i'm going to create a new folder i'm going to name it snipe dash it and i'm going to open this i'm going to leave it on a side and i'm going to snipe open uh, snipe it requirements we have all the files and i will open snipe it and snipe it 4.6.3 folder um, these files you should get from Snap IT website, which will go to GitHub, and from there you'll download a zip folder. You have to extract that zip folder, and I'm going to do Control A, Control C, and in this folder, Control V. Okay, so all the files have been moved. So now I'm going to close this, and in Snap IT, if you search, there is another file named .env example. .env .example. So right click on that and open with Notepad++. There's a reason why I'm using Notepad++ because we are going to save this file .env. And if you don't use Notepad++, we would not be able to save this file as .env or like we right click and rename the file, we would not be able to rename that. So um, what we'll do is click on file and then save as and um, we will save it as just dot env and i'm going to save it go to local disk c inet pub ww root snipe it i'm going to save it here okay so i'm going to make some changes here so app url i'm going to enter 192.168.60.2 unless you have a dns server up and running so you can uh, put the name of the website or the site name but i do not have any dns server so i'm just using the ip address and after that the um, database connection i didn't change any database name connection so i'm just using mysql and the host is just a local host that's fine and database name is snipe it and username is snipe it as well and password is p a s s w o r d db dump path we are going to change this so go to file explorer click on this pc and then local disk c program files maria db double click that and double click on bin and click on here copy that and put it in here so it has to be between the quotation marks and as you can see the db collation is utf mb4 underscore unicode underscore ci which is same as our snipe it database collation okay 
and then click on save. So this file is saved. I'm going to close it. So once we finish this, I'm going to close the file explorer as well and open your folder where you have all the documents saved and I'm going to copy composer-setup.exe I'm going to copy that and I will paste this in click on this PC, local disk C, inet pub www root, snipe it in snipe it directory this is here so when I'm gonna run this it has to be in snipe it folder in www root folder okay so I'm gonna run this now so you can double click no developer mode click next that's the PHP which is installed we have only one version or sometimes it comes up with two or three depends how many versions of PHP installed and you can browse to your PHP XE as well if you click on browse and then this PC local disk C um, and PHP and here's the PHP XE okay and then click next uh, proxy if there's any proxy server you're using you can um, actually put the proxy URL in I'm not doing that because I don't have any proxy server and I will click next so click install so it's running the composer installer script at the moment okay so it is saying that um, open a new command window close all the file explorer windows and log off and log on again and then open a new command window so I have tried this I didn't have to log off or log on I will click next and I will click finish okay so once this is done hover over to file here on this corner click on that and um, open a command prompt as admin and then type in composer and before that I would highly recommend you can check if you can ping to Google to uh, public DNS which is 8.8.8.8 .8 so I can ping so just type composer space install so when you run this command make sure you are in the directory here C inet pub www root snipe dash it composer install so you're running this command in this folder and hit enter so it's gonna take a while so I will leave it running and I will be back once this is done okay so finally all the dependencies are installed with the help of composer now we are going to generate app key so once we generate that app key it will automatically populate the key in .env file in snipe it folder so I'll show you quickly so if you go to installation and generate your app key it's under installation on snipe it so SSH it says PHP space artisan space key uh, generate I will type it here PHP space artisans uh, space key generate and hit enter so once you do that it will prompt you to if you want to run this I will say yes and hit enter again so it will give you this key here okay so if you in snipe it if you open dot env file right click edit with notepad plus uh, plus it should automatically um, populate here so app key it is the exactly same key which is coming over on our command line next step is we will create a new website okay so in IIS server open IIS manager in here under sites you will see there's a default website um, uh, in default website first we'll change the bindings of default website so in to change the bindings um, click on bindings here in default website and in port uh, click edit and we will change it to 801 port okay close and click on restart okay so now click on sites right click add website site name I will be using snipe IT 
and physical path so click on three dots go to local disk C inet pub ww root snipe it and in snipe it public okay and click okay and host name so if you have a dns server so you can type in your host name for example ams dot local or anything like that but since i don't have any dns server up and running so i will just leave this blank and i will click ok and ip addresses as well so i can pick one or i can just say all assigned on port 80 and click ok so this part is done and according to snipe it documentation in snipe it website double click on handler mappings and in php it says php-7.0.31 double click on that and click on request uh, restrictions and verbs it has only get head and post so we will need get head post delete put and patch okay so i will add um, delete put and patch okay so we have get head post delete put and patch okay and click on ok ok yes so that part is done as well so the next part is fixing the permissions to do that we'll go to file explorer click on this pc local disk c inet pub snipe it folder i think it was already opened um, in snipe it there's another folder as you know public folder uh, double click on that so right click on uploads click on properties and in security we will add a new user click on security edit add iusr and click on check names click ok so to iusr we are giving full control okay so apply hit ok and ok so th this part is done and the next part we are going to do is a cache folder okay cache folder is in snipe it bootstrap cache uh, we will right click and click on properties we are doing the same thing click on security edit add iusr check names okay and full control apply okay okay so this part is done as well so the next part is storage folder okay in the storage folder um, click on snipe it and in snipe it we have this folder storage right click on that properties and security edit add iusr check names okay and here we are just uh, giving it modify we're not giving it full control apply and okay okay and the last bit is click on this pc local disk c windows there's a folder named tmp temp right click properties security edit add iusr check names okay and click on modify apply yes okay 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 so this part is done as well so and we'll finish this with uh, after restarting the website okay so in ams under sites we have snipe it and restart this website or you can click the whole server server name and restart it and before we go to our uh, pre setup or pre flight and setup page, make sure in your server manager on your local server, Internet Explorer, the enhanced security is off. So we'll go to Internet Explorer and we will type 192.168.60.2 and hit enter. So it should load this Snipe IT pre flight page okay so now once this page is loaded um, click on next create database tables click on that 
So it will in the back end create a database tables for our Snipe IT asset management system. All right, so it says, oops, looks like something went wrong. There's nothing went wrong. Um, if you refresh this page, it will come back to this page where you have the option to create a new user. All right, so click on create new user. Snipe IT, um, I just name it um, AMS or maybe test AMS and default language English currency AUD and domain technex.com.au um, name J last name Singh and email jay at technex.com.au So username jsingh and password any password and I will click on save user all right so this is how you do the setup for Snipe IT on Windows Server 2016. So that's all for this video thanks for watching if you like this video and found it useful please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as it motivates to create quality content.